How can you start a social media marketing agency with no money? Did you know that digital marketing spending is supposed to climb to $375 billion by 2022? If you wanted to create a marketing agency in the past, there were many limitations. You needed to have a lot of money and spend it on starting up your business. There was no internet back then, and so, for every marketing idea you may have, it could never happen without trying to make one yourself or paying someone else to do it for you. In addition, people did not have much trust in something like this. But times have changed, and it's no longer impossible for a skilled individual or small team to set up a fully functional marketing agency within a few months. However, what if you don't have the resources to start your own agency? Yes, you can start a marketing agency without experience, but is it possible to start without money? Well, what if I tell you that it's not impossible? For today's video exclusive for our Laptop Lifestyle members, we're going to talk about how you can start a social media marketing agency with no money. Yes, you can start a marketing agency even if you don't have any money up front. You can change your customers and collect payment for your work. The best thing about starting this business is that you don't have to invest anything up front like a lot of small businesses require. The only catch is that you need to make sure that the quality of your work is top-notch before presenting it to a client or they won't be interested in hiring you. Don't feel overwhelmed if you're a beginner considering starting your own digital agency. There are really good opportunities in business social media marketing and search engine optimization because of its ability to deliver results. One example would be watching this video. The first question you would probably think of is how you can get clients if you don't have any money. Don't worry because that is the purpose of this video and that is one of the most popular questions when it comes to starting a marketing agency. Here are some ways that you can do to get clients from home. The first method is through cold emailing. Doing a cold email may be difficult because you have no relationship with your audience yet and lack nonverbal feedback to adjust your approach in real time. As a result, most cold emails fail, but these strategies can work. You can build a career startup companies with some hard work and strategic emails. So how can you write an effective cold email? Tailoring the message to the recipient is one way to start. By tailoring your email, there is personalization. Personalization shows the recipient that you have put much time and effort into understanding them. This can be done in many ways but is most effective with those who develop a theory in mind about their recipient. Make your email purposeful by explaining why you are emailing them. By emphasizing the unique qualifications of your recipient, you can create a story that connects with them. Next is to validate yourself. When meeting or receiving an email from someone we've never met, it's natural for us to wonder who this person is and how they know more about us than our own friends. You need to show your email recipients that you're credible and they can trust you. This is particularly important when you're the stranger who's reaching out to new prospects for an outreach campaign. If you have any direct connections, mention them. This gives the person you're targeting social evidence and they will be more likely to cooperate with your request or question. Find commonalities. If you don't have a status to share, that's fine. Use the connection of being in the same group or hobby. With an uncommon similarity, you can feel like you belong while also standing out. The point is, you want to find a way to go from stranger to part of the client's group. Another is to keep your email short and easy. Short emails are more likely to be read and if an email specifically requests clear action, it has a higher response rate. One way to ensure that your message is short but effective is to speak to them the way you would in a social setting. You wouldn't just pitch them at a cocktail party but instead find some common ground and say something nice before asking for their business. It's also recommended that you should read your email out loud before you send it. If it sounds natural, then it will read well. Make it easy for your audience to take the next step. For example, let me know if you want to meet up is not the best way to go. This forces someone to make a decision without any information and puts the responsibility on them in order to move forward. But there's more to a good ask than just telling people what you want. How you tell them matters a lot. Lastly, don't use a cold email template. When you Google cold email template, there are a lot of them listed. However, there aren't any good templates to be personalized cold emails. This makes sense since personalized doesn't come from templates. This second method is hated by some people, especially those who don't like to get on the phone. 
but truthfully, you need to get used to being on the phone because even after a successful email, you need to get on the phone anyway to close or set up a demo. Yes, you're right, it is cold calling. Cold calling has been around as long as the telephone. It's a technique where a representative for a company calls an individual to share their pitch. Although unsolicited, the caller can't predict the person on the other end's reaction. Cold calling may not work for all business models and can be challenging while being beneficial because it allows you to reach potential new prospects. Now, the true question is, how can you ensure that your cold calls are as efficient as possible? First, it's crucial to do your research before you call someone. There's no better way of having an unsuccessful call than asking a person about something they don't have any expertise in or don't have control over. Next, always remember to be yourself during the call. Don't read off a script to sound like a robot. Know your material and what you're selling beforehand so you can speak genuinely and intelligently about it as this will make a difference in the success of your call. Finally, it's important to keep the first call you make to a basic introduction about your agency. You should give the potential customer a strong idea of what you do before you start getting into in-depth detail. The latter could run the risk of confusing them if you apply that information too early in the conversation. To succeed with your cold calling, you need to put in consistent effort to master the skill, but it can be done. And as long as you have the skills, it's possible to generate a successful lead and create long-lasting relationships with your customers. Another great method is through voicemail dropping. Voicemail dropping is a way to notify someone they have a new message and not ring their phone. It's literally just leaving a pre-recorded voicemail. So why should you use it? A voicemail is far less likely to be deleted without listening than a phone call. It's effective because clients are less inclined to delete a voicemail without at least listening to it. Aside from that, it's affordable. Depending on the provider and plan, it can cost about a few cents per message delivered. It also works with both mobile phones and landlines. It's user-friendly and intuitive. You can quickly upload a recorded message or make a new one. And it's a time saver. Instead of individually calling dozens of numbers, waiting for the call to go to voicemail, listening to the greeting, and leaving your message, you can record one personalized message for a segment of your call list and instantly send it out with one click. The golden rule is to treat a voicemail drop like you would a cold email. Personalization and relevancy are the keys. The last but not least approach for digital marketing clients without cold calling is to do meetups. Attend Chamber of Commerce gatherings, local BNI groups, and business meetings in your area. Joining these groups weekly has a great way to get the word out about the business. The takeaway is to position oneself as the go-to for a specific niche and attract prospects by inviting them to a demo that shows how you can help them reach their goals. To prepare for a successful meeting, it's important to have proper planning and preparation. You should be all set to go if you want to retain clients and attract new ones. Having a good reputation when meeting with clients will make you known in business circles. Now, let's say you had a successful client meeting. The end of the meeting should not end the project phases. Thus, after a proper wrap-up, follow-ups need to be arranged. Now that we already know how to get clients for our soon-to-be marketing agency, let us know what are some requirements we need to start our own social media marketing agency. The first requirement is that you should determine your goal. Setting a goal for your business is very important. You should decide exactly which services you're going to provide and whether or not they can be profitable. Research also helps you determine what services are in demand and which will be in demand in the future. It ensures that you're working towards a specific goal. Doing your research also means precise about what you want to accomplish at each checkpoint. Next is to develop your skills. By developing your skills and understanding your industry, you can stay afloat in a cutthroat business. If you miscalculate the value of the product or service, it could lead to either underselling or overselling. You should get some knowledge of marketing, sales, and advertising before you begin. Rather than studying digital marketing, study the basics of marketing, sales, and advertising. All these sectors are related to each other. Another one is to create your own site and promote it before doing it for others. The best way to market your brand is by creating a website. When designing it, you should try to work towards your own goals because it will make you more aware of how the site will work for your clients. Digital and social selling are increasing across the world as more people are shopping online. Brands need to develop digital strategies that gives consumers easy access to purchase their products. 
there's also a need for branding. Creating your own brand is important if you want to be successful in the digital world. The success of your online business largely depends on how well you differentiate yourself from others. As a business owner, the name of your business is important. It makes decisions about branding and trademark registration in the future and implies what you believe your company stands for. And lastly is your taxes. Tax filings can be confusing, tiring, and a headache. As a business owner, you need to file your taxes in every location where you do business. Tax payables will be different for different businesses. They vary depending on the niche, size of the business, and nationality, amongst other details. The vast majority of people have become so busy with their own business activities that they have often neglect taxes, which is harmful to their company. Failing to settle taxes on time could lead to expensive penalties and fees, which is something we don't want to happen. Since we already know the basic requirements to start an SMMA and how to get clients, you're probably wondering how can you start a marketing agency with little or no money. One way is partnering with a white label digital marketing agency. White label digital marketing agencies work for other digital marketing agencies under their brand name. A white label agency works with you and obscures itself so that the end client doesn't know that they are the client. The client thinks they are paying a marketing agency, but the work is being done by a third party for less money and the marketing agency gets paid for it. By hiring a white label marketing agency, you can save your cost, time, energy, and reduce your stress level. Starting a digital marketing agency in 2022 might be a smart choice because of the surge in digital marketing. Thanks to technology, business owners are now able to reach more targeted audiences with their products and interact with them in real time from their homes. However, if you're asking if you need a social media marketing training or program to be successful, the answer is no. If you're a beginner, I recommend first watching a few YouTube videos on how to start your business and setting up social media ads such as Facebook or Instagram. Before beginning, make sure that you're well prepared to put in the work necessary for success. While it can seem overwhelming starting out, you should have a good idea of how to start and run a digital marketing agency. Keep this video in mind as you're planning out each step of your agency. Though managing your own business is a dramatic life event, you must treat it as such and not drag yourself along for too long if you're not cut out for it. If you make a decision but don't believe in it, you will fail. You have to commit by taking charge when you're running your digital marketing agency. Once this happens, you may find that it's extremely fulfilling. There you have our laptop lifestyle video for today. Are you excited to have your first social media client? When are you going to start your own marketing agency? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and like this video. If you think that we have delivered value, please share this video with one person. Just one share is enough for us. For you to show your appreciation for the commitment and hard work we all put together in creating this video that teaches and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. And you don't know that one share could go a long way. And keep in mind that no matter how many times you're going to watch this video, you won't see any results unless you take action. Goodbye and see you at the next one!